Hello everyone! Lord Byron and I are back to continue the wonderful story of Unperfect Cheerleader. Look at this love! Oh, you've been sleeping all day. Did you miss mommy? Yes, you did. Say hi. Meow. Oh, such a good boy. Well, this is a story about an innocent girl who somehow ended up on the wrong path because her heart got broken when she was 14 and her mother passed away and she didn't have anyone there for her. And now we are going to continue the story of Unperfect Cheerleader, Chapter 7. This is Lord Byron's Instagram. This is my Instagram, our TikTok. Give us a follow, give this video a like, and let's go. Today is the day we're going to pretend to be his girlfriend. Ew, look at his girlfriend. Gross. Okay, donut for breakfast. I like her style. Mmm. Depressed eating. Hey. Why is he always at our house? What the heck, Slade? What are you doing here? No worries. I waited until I saw your father leave. You need to leave before. Calm down. I already told you your father left. Okay, this is ridiculous. Where is your sister? Probably at school. Shouldn't you be watching over her? She's fine. I'm taking care of it. I don't even want to know what that means. Oh, what is he doing? I'm so curious. Why don't you put those donuts from last week down and let me buy you some real breakfast? He's so sweet. What? Special scrambled eggs at Gina's. You used to love those. And you remember that? I remember everything about you, Zora. So we still have an hour before school. Would you mind if I took you on a breakfast date? Oh my God, guys, but we're a taken woman now. Yes, I'd love to go on a date with you. Can't say no to free food. I'm gonna say no to free food because we're not gonna say we're gonna go on a date with him because that's gonna be leading him on, right? Right. Fine, but you better pay. Well, duh. <laughs> Obviously. Right, baby? Come on, say it. This was a good idea. Ugh, fine. It was a good idea. <laughs> I don't know how, but you look prettier today. Oh my God, he loves us so much. How so? You look handsome too, thanks. I'm say, how so? I'm not sure. You just glow. Oh, it must be that depressed glow I have about dating a guy I don't like while pretending to date. Huh, yeah, totally. So, are you going to tell me what's going on with you now? What do you mean, I'm fine, can we not talk about this now? Can we not talk about this now, please? I came here because of what happened to Sophia, but I know something is going on with you too and I'm not going to drop it until you tell me what it is. Just because you solved your sister's problem, you think you are some sort of god on earth that can solve everyone's problems now? Look, I know you have some forked up trust issues and I was an idiot for leaving you, but I'm back and things can be different now. It's my job to look out for you too. When Slate looks at me, time stops and it's like the world is losing gravity. And the closer he gets, the more I realize my feelings for him haven't changed a bit. Probably they're only intensifying by the second. He's the only guy that can make my lungs ache for air and my heart fighting for its way out of my ribcage. But nothing of this is real. We are ruined from the day he stole that first kiss from me and I have to keep reminding myself that. Don't pretend you care about me now, okay? Oh wow, that was intense. Girl, you don't have to run away from breakfast. Just stop. Are you freaking bipolar now or something? We were good yesterday, we- What happened yesterday was that I wasn't feeling good and you were there and we had a moment late. That was all. I'm actually seeing someone else now, so please back off. And who was that? Why don't you go and find that out by yourself? Grr. Look, thank you for today. It really means a lot to me. And maybe you're right. Last night I saw it too, as clear as the stars upon us. We may have something that will never die and that would be kind of cute if we were different people in a different life. But we're here and we are who we are. Just because we have a past together doesn't mean we have to spend the rest of our lives chasing each other's tails. Okay, bye. <sighs> Okay, this breaks my heart and I don't like this. I want them together. He's so good to her. I mean, yeah, he was a little boy too. Like, he's not in charge of your life. Hmm. I love how he's glaring at us the whole time. That's new. What's that all about? Haven't you heard they're a thing now? I heard she gave him her V card and he knocked her up. V card? Pregnant? Listening to rumors will give you wrinkles. Really? Ha ha ha. She's not pregnant, she can barely look him in the eyes. Obviously she's ashamed and probably worried about how her body won't fit in the cheerleading uniform for long. Does this mean she can't go to nationals? Karma's at B. You're a jerk and you should stop talking before you bite your own tongue. And you should stop defending her, Slade. I know all you want is to get into her pants like every boy with small dreams here, but she doesn't give a damn about you. In fact, Zora doesn't give a damn about anyone in here but herself. Whatever. Huh, <laughs> he will be back. I don't think so. Is he the guy you're seeing now? Oh, you're so annoying. Yes. I don't buy it. Well, it's true. That's your problem. Be calm and talk him out of it. I'm going to say, well, it's true. Dot, dot, dot. So what now? Do you really want us to just ignore each other, pretend one another doesn't exist? Is that what you really want? Because I don't believe it when you say it. 
You can try all you want, but deep down, we both know this. Us wasn't supposed to end the way it did. Yes, Sora, we both forked up, and I'm sorry for what happened to your mother, but her death can't always be your excuse. No one could have predicted it, no one could have stopped it, and you know it. Don't you dare talk about my mother in my face. You will never understand because you never lost anyone you cared about. You never lost your mom. <sighs> Well, at least he's finally giving us what we need. A nice, real, cold reality check. Zora, wait up. Hey, I heard you've been slayed. You heard that? Perfect. Come on, Zora, it's me. You know I'm here for you. I know, Will, you're a good friend. I don't feel I have been lately. We haven't hung out much after school. You've been dealing with a lot and I feel I don't know anything about you. And I really miss you. How about we go to my place, dress up and spend the rest of the day together? I have a surprise for you. A surprise? Just trust me, okay? Yay! <gasps> I love this outfit. Oh my God, look at you. I know, I love it. But what is this for? I got us tickets to Roy Hayes show tonight. Roy Hayes, you know he is my favorite. I do, that's why I got us the golden tickets. Oh my God, Willow, this night is going to be amazing. Yeah, there you go, Roy Hayes, he's hot. We'll have the best music. <gasps> Surprises. And who knows? Maybe some romance? Wait, is this a foreshadowing? Oh my god, you guys. So what do you say, Sora? I say yes, 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 yes! What are we waiting for? Woo! Oh, I love the dancer's outfits. Ooh, okay. He kind of looks like Slade, but Slade is hotter. I mean, sorry, not sorry, but yeah. I am a one-man woman, even though you guys, it doesn't seem like that now. He's performing, he's looking fabulous, he gives me dancers, show, everything. Oh my god, I love this. This is amazing. Oh my god, best night ever! <laughs> Golden tickets, follow me. <gasps> oh my god, we're going somewhere VIP! What? You will see. Is that Roy? Yeah. You have five minutes with him. What do you want to do? Kiss him, take a selfie, ask a personal question. I'm gonna ask, wait guys, should we kiss him? Should we just go for it? Mm, okay, let's do it. I'm going to kiss him. Wait, what? Mwah. Now I get why you have a crush on him. This guy kind of looks like me. Oh my God, I was right. Besides the hair and the private group of hot dancers, obviously. Um, Slade, what are you doing here? Checking if you were enjoying my gift, of course. Your what? Yeah, so about that. Remember I told you I got the tickets from someone? That's your someone. You should have told me. You set me up? You set me up? No, I swear I didn't know he was coming too. Oh, but we just met Roy Hayes, so who cares? That's true. I mean, it was really nice of him. And he's gone. The second part of the show is about to start. I can help you get close to the stage again. You guys should go. I need to pee. Oh, guess we could get going. Slade, wait. Why are you doing this? Isn't it obvious? I guess I'm just trying to say I'm sorry. About what? About leaving, about what I said earlier. I shouldn't have told you those things. I'm sorry about your mom, Zora. I'm sorry I left you. You just don't get it, do you? I wasn't mad because you went with your mother after the divorce. You didn't decide that, your parents did. I was mad because you forgot about me and I needed you. I needed my best friend. I never meant to hurt you. It doesn't matter, Slade, because in the end, it all hurts just the same. I know, that's why I want to prove to you that I'm here for you now. But you really have to let me try. Kiss him, tell him you're not mad, just go home. Oh, I'm gonna kiss everyone tonight. Mm, Slade. I know. Oh, yay! Oh my god, please, please, I need to know what Lucas has on her so she is not stuck dating that prick the whole time. Hmm. He looks angry. What's up? You called? I need you two girls to watch my back. Did you just call them girls? Rude. I don't like that. Don't do that, Slade. He's gonna spy on us or find out what Lucas is up to. Oh my God. Where's my money, boy? Upstairs. I have it upstairs in my room. I was keeping the money safe for you. Are you waiting for my fist to give you permission to get it? No, sir. Get me the darn money. Okay. He doesn't have a really good situation either. Oh my gosh, poor guy. How come that guy that lives in this side of town can afford to be in our school and wear the best clothes? I don't know, but guess what? You two are going to find that out for me. What does he have on them that he's ordering them about like that? Oh my God, that was such an intense chapter, you guys. I am obsessed with it. And I can't believe they went to the concert. He did all that for her. It's so sweet. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Give this video a huge like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys later. Bye.